Hello fellow booktubers, my name is Lauren and you're watching Dreams Books Courage. It is about 20 minutes after midnight and the booktubeathon has officially started, so I've decided to be vlogging throughout the week so that I can keep you guys updated on my reading progress and I can also motivate myself more to hopefully read a bit more and accomplish more of my goals. So right now, I'm probably going to be reading until I get tired enough to go to bed. If you guys watched my booktubeathon TBR video, I said that if I did not finish The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket, that I would start booktubeathon off with this. And I have less than 30 pages left in this book, but I kind of don't want to count that for Booktubeathon since I have so little of the book left to read. So I'm probably going to be finishing this one after the Booktubeathon ends. And as I said, if you've watched my Booktubeathon TBR video, then you probably think you know exactly what I'm going to read, but I basically changed every single book in my Booktubeathon TBR video, except for one being Ready Player One. So if you thought you knew what I was going to read, and that you just don't, and I kind of don't either. I just didn't really feel like rereading things for a book marathon, so that's just not what I'm going to be doing anymore. Also, I'm going to be trying to upload these videos every single day of Booktubeathon because I put a poll up on Twitter and that's what most people said they wanted is a daily vlog. So we'll see how that goes. So the first book that I'm planning to read during Booktubeathon is actually going to be Confess by Colleen Hoover. And I've never read a complete novel by Colleen Hoover. I've read the Never Never series, but those were like small parts of a bigger novel. I don't know what you would exactly call that, but I'm excited to get into this one. I haven't really heard that much about this one, but I have liked her writing sound in the past, so I'm hoping that I enjoy it in this. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Colleen Hoover and her novels, specifically in November 9, but I'm still willing to give her a chance and see what I personally think about her writing. I'm reading this book to complete the challenge of reading a book with a person on the cover, and if you look pretty closely, like in the letters, you can see there is a girl's face in it. Which is actually pretty cool. I like how it's not just like immediately evident that there's a person on it. So I'm really excited about this. I really 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 wanted to read a more contemporary style novel because I feel like I've just been reading a lot of novels that aren't exactly what I've just been in the mood for lately. So I'm really excited about picking this one up. All I know about this one is that it takes place in Dallas, which is a city that I live very, very close to and where I go to college, which I think is really cool. I actually bought this copy when I was in Dallas. And as you can see, I actually have a signed version of it, which is super cool. But anyways, all I know is that this takes place in Dallas and it's about this girl who meets like this artist who paints pictures based on like things that people put in his mailbox or something, I don't know. I honestly don't know that much about this and I'm excited to go into it not knowing that much. I'm just hoping that it will be a quick read, although I think it's like about 300 pages long and I'm just hoping that it will be a great start to book to -a for me. So right now I'm drinking my English breakfast tea and super ready to get into this novel. So I will update you guys when I finish reading for the night. Hey guys, so I just got finished reading for the night and I only managed to read a total of eight pages which is super sad. For one thing, the font is definitely smaller than I thought it would be and I got super distracted with food because I was just super hungry for no reason very late at night. So yeah, I spent most of that time just eating and watching YouTube videos, but hopefully I'll get back on the right track tomorrow. So far, this book has started out super sad, and I did not expect that at all, and I don't know why it's starting out super sad. I guess I'll have to see once I get further along, but yeah, so that's also another factor as to why I'm not like super hooked and just wanting to read more because it's just very, very sad at the beginning, but hopefully since it's the prologue after I move on from that, it will get a lot happier, but I will keep you guys updated, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. I actually woke up a couple of hours ago, but I just need, like, a couple of hours to wake up. Honestly, I'm so not a morning person at all. But anyways, it is time to get serious and get some serious reading done. I have some coffee. Look how cute this mug is. It says, mornings are for coffee and contemplation. I love this mug so much. It's a quote from Stranger Things. But anyways, I have my coffee, so you know I'm about to do some serious reading. Or at least I hope so. As I was telling you guys last night, which would just be the last clip for you guys, I'm reading Confess by Colleen Hoover. So I'm going to try and get to a happier part in this because as I said, this started out super sadly and I'm hoping it gets happier soon because I feel like sad books are typically not ones you want to pick up during a reading marathon because if something's sad, I'm probably going to want to like hold off on like reading it or something just because I don't want to feel sad right now. So hopefully I get to a happier part soon. It is quite a rainy day today, which is the perfect atmosphere to read a book in, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting into this this morning, so I will update you guys on my progress around lunchtime.
guys, it is now close to lunchtime and I'm getting hungry, so I came to a stopping point and confess. I think I started on page 8 and now I'm on page 14. As I said guys, if you didn't believe me before, I am such a slow reader. It's been like 40 minutes and I read like 8 pages, I think. It's been 40 minutes and I've read like 6 pages actually. Like, I am such a slow reader, guys, honestly. But I was also participating in the Booktubeathon Twitter sprints, which I would also recommend that you join in on. It's super fun, and I love just participating more in the challenges. They're super fun, and I would definitely recommend them because they definitely motivated me more to, like, read more pages, although that didn't really happen. But yeah, so with Confess, right now, it's, like, still sad. I'm just, like, waiting for it to get happy. Like, I'm past the prologue now, and it's just, like... I think the story is about to get rolling and hopefully it'll get happier because it started out super sad and then I was like okay well in chapter one maybe it won't be and then it was still sad so now I'm just like ready for it to stop being sad. I don't know what it is but I just don't want to read anything sad right now. I think because I've been reading a series of unfortunate events which is all sadness. But yeah I'm really looking forward to this and I'm waiting for it to get happy and all romantic because I just have not read anything like that in a long long time. So yeah I'm just hoping that it gets really happy really really soon. But we'll just have to see. I will catch up with you guys the next time that I start reading which might be a while because I do have to work on the research project that is my job and I might also just take a break and you know play some Overwatch as well but as soon as I get back to reading I will let you guys know or I might even start on the video challenge for today which I'm so excited about so I will get back to you as soon as I'm doing one of those things. Hey guys, so it's now much, much later in the day and I have not read anything since we last spoke, which is so sad because I was wanting to read more, but just things came up. I had to do some work and we also went to the store, so I just haven't had that much time to just sit down and read, but I probably could have found time. I just wasn't really in the mood, so I just didn't read that much, but we are now at the end of day one. Actually, day one hasn't literally ended, but I'm going to cut it off right here, and once I start reading again, I'll just count that in with day two. So for day one, I have finished a grand total of 14 pages in Confess by Colleen Hoover, which is super sad, and yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself, honestly, but I just haven't really been super into this book yet. It just has started off so much sadder than I thought it would. And I know I've been talking about that a lot, but whenever a book starts out sad, then it gives me like a lot less motivation to read it. Because you're just kind of thrust into this world and this world is already sad and that's not what I was expecting to get from this novel. But I guess that's kind of also due to my expectations as well. But I'm definitely hoping that I'll get more into this tonight and maybe find a brighter side of this novel. And tomorrow I'm going to start another book which is Leaves of Grass and Selected Poems and Prose by Walt Whitman in this gorgeous Penguin Drop Caps edition that I love so much. I have already started this during the school year and I got to page 41 but I do plan to start over from the beginning. As it says in the title a lot of this is poetry so I'm hoping that I'll be able to fly through this relatively quickly and this is the book that I plan to read for the challenge to read a book outside so I'm hoping that it will be a quick read that I'll read throughout the week but we'll just have to see how this goes. I'm not a huge fan of Walt women's poetry but I do quite enjoy it and I definitely appreciate it so I am looking forward to revisiting this. So that is all of my update for day one of Booktubeathon and now let's go ahead and get into the video challenge of the day. So the challenge for today is to create a book monster and this challenge comes in three parts. The first part is within 30 seconds. You have to skim through the current book that you're reading to come up with the monster's name and then for the next 30 seconds you skim through your book to find characteristics of that monster and then for the last minute you make it come to life by drawing it. I'm so nervous for this, especially the drawing part, because I am just not good at drawing anything. So we'll just have to see how this goes. So I have the back of my target receipt here, so then I can write all this stuff down, and we'll just have to see how this goes. So right now I'm going to give myself 30 seconds so I can find the monster's name, starting, oh god, starting now. like the worst words but we'll get to that after I do the next 30 seconds. I did not realize how hard this challenge would be but it is like pretty hard already. Um, <laughs> I'm just like laughing at the words that I picked out. So now for the second set of 30 seconds in which I will find my monster's characteristics. I 
went a couple of seconds over, but that is completely fine. Okay, now I'm going to give myself a minute to think about... I don't even know what to do with these words right now. I'm trying to think about what my monster should look like. Hmm. So now I'm going to draw my monster for the last minute, starting now. Okay guys, now I will show you, okay, so I should tell you about my monster first to preface this. So my monster's name is Bathroom Anger <laughs> because that's just what I found whenever, that's just what, you know, popped out to me whenever I was looking through my book. So his name is Bathroom Anger. Okay, so my, my four words that I found were gross, frustrated, shake, and excites. So... He is very frustrated because he's so gross um, that he starts shaking whenever he gets excited. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Um, yeah, he's just frustrated because he's gross and that excites him. So he starts shaking and that's like his power <laughs> is that he shakes. But anyways, I'll show you what he looks like. I'm actually pretty proud of this drawing, to be honest with you guys. Look how cute he is. So that is bathroom anger. <laughs> As you can see, he's a very angry toilet. Um, and he has a lot of anger issues to deal with because he just feels that he is very gross and he's just very sad about it. Isn't he so cute though, guys? I'm like actually pretty impressed with this drawing. And I feel like it did not completely fill this challenge even though it started out pretty rough. My drawing, I think, was actually the best part. <laughs> I think he's so cute. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna keep him. A little bathroom anger. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for following me throughout my day in my reading adventure for the first day of Booktubeathon. Although I did not have a lot of time to read, I really hope that you enjoyed this video because I had a lot of fun making it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and now I'm gonna go back to reading. <laughs>